apartment friends how the heck are you welcome back to the old kiwi farm it is oh, 104 in the afternoon this early autumn day a beautiful day 72 balmy degrees outside and things are hopping on the farm holy crap you know yesterday i was saying how things were kind of slow and just <laughs> we're kind of bored well today things picked up yep today things picked up i'm telling you what we are productive the animal dealership is down here with their cattle trailer they have been driven off blah, 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 delivering cattle on the farm so in the dairy barn we have got some holstein cows and then in our beef cattle we've got some uh, sailor and some limousine cows so that is awesome we have got cows on the farm farm finally i gotta talk holy crap i can't talk i can't hold a bail on a stupid mixer either oh man what get up in there you stupid bail i'm telling you yeah stupid stupid bail there we go anyways so this is a different mixer. I, I went down to Zeke. I said the old the mixer that I bought not very good, not very good capacity. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. So I traded in on a bigger one, a Lucas Spearmax 220. So we have that on the farm. I also did buy the Massey Ferguson Telehandler, which you saw. I got all the bales put away in the shed. That thing works perfect. I am in love with that thing. And then the straw blower I didn't need. I just I just sold that off to a local farmer who was looking for a, a straw blower. Hey there, cow, how are you? Good to see you. Some fancy dancy milk cows there. And then I also bought another truck. So between my purchases and the trade-ins and the cows, I had to go to the bank and I had to borrow $200,000. So I've got 12245 left, but you know what? I've been doing some fertilizing contracts this morning. I've got three completed. i got one more to do. i got field six to do. So we can collect those three, and that's 39659 bucks in the bank. I was tempted. I was tempted, my friends, to buy borrow more money and buy that cornfield and a combine but i thought to myself no i'm gonna do cows i'm already two hundred thousand dollars in the hole well if i took my money that i have now i'd be a hundred and sixty thousand in the hole but i think that was just way too much money to get in the hole over a half a million dollars yeah that wasn't gonna fly i wasn't sophie said absolutely not you're not doing it so i decided not to do it and i oh crap i thought i had that one it's kind of hard to see with my bill spike on this thing. Oh, yeah, I'm way over it, crying out loud. So, we got cows instead. She said, let's get some cows instead. We got cows. I'm, I'm happy about it. I, I, you know, I do need corn because I am running low on corn because I got to use corn to feed all these stupid freaking cows. So, hopefully, our corn fields will be ready to be harvested soon and I can get them done. But this mixer is pretty good. I put two silage bales in there, one straw, and one hay. And that makes 16,000 liters of TMR. I just need a little bit of more TMR in this dairy barn. So here's our cow shed at the garage. So everything is good to go. I, I got corn, I got hay, and I got grass. I mowed some more grass, got that in there. So they just need some TMR. Uh, the limousine cows are perfect. We had 11 of those. The 10 uh, sailor cows, they're pretty good. And then the chicken coops, and then the sheep and the pigs that we all had before. So everything's pretty good except for the TMR in the in the dairy barn. So. Hopefully, we will start seeing some production from these cows. I love that tail hander, man. I loaded bales up in here. It was just awesome. Absolutely awesome, my friends. So I'm pretty excited about that. And the other truck I needed, because the one truck is staying down at the pig barn. So I didn't want to um, have to keep moving that thing back and forth. And with harvest coming up, I'm going to need another truck. So I did buy another truck. $32,000 I spent on that thing. So that's going to come in handy, especially with harvest. Now... I do need to make some money because I got to buy some combines for harvest. And I, I, I went down to Zeke's dealership down on the Massey Ferguson dealership and I test drove that Massey Ferguson combine. I'm, I, I think that's what I'm going to go with. It's not very big, but it'll work just fine and get the stuff done for us. So if I had two of them, then I could put one in sunflowers, one in corn, a, a truck in each crop, and I could just go to town and that, that would be perfect. And I would, I would really enjoy that. So yeah, look at this. All my bales are nice stacked meat in here. I am going to need some more straw bales, so hopefully, well, no, hopefully not, because we can't do our small grains until the fall. I might have to buy some more straw bales. $4,200 a load, I'm just going to have to do it, because I don't have, I don't think I'm going to have enough straw. Depends on how much these cows are going to eat over the next, um, I don't know, three, four months. This is all going to depend on that, but, you know, my sheep, for example, my sheep over there, they haven't done a damn thing. I've been feeding them. They haven't produced an ounce of milk, so I'm a little disappointed in that. So that should take care of that problem there. 
Let's see, that should be full. I'm just gonna hop into here and check real quick. We have TMR, yeah. So those um, four bales produce uh, 80, th or, uh, well, 5,000 tons of TMR. So that's pretty good. Five bales, two silage, a hay, and a straw. And then this TMR mixer I can actually almost put in sugar beets and soybeans, but I don't raise either one of those crops here. So that's kind of irrelevant. But we will go into the cow shed here and we will start to uh, dump this off. And then I can just probably leave this TMR mixer in the tractor in there if I can back it in nice and neat. And then I'm going to put the telehandler over in the garage. I'll put the pickup, the truck over in the garage. Um, can kind of get everything put away in the animal dealership when they finish up. They'll be out here with their semi. Oh, crap, I think I hit the curb there. That's not good. It's like watching the scooter man drive ATS today. At, oh, the buckets. Come on there, tracker. A little leggy there for a second. I'm just going to back this in here. And this thing is perfect because it does fit in my door nice and neat. And I don't got to worry about that. It just comes out the front. So I can't have a, uh, a trailer in here with a dump thing on there because um, it'll hit the roof. So we'll just dump that TMR off. That should fill them up. That's going to work out perfect. I could just start making a bunch of TMR and put it in my TMR silo. But I, I think I'm going to wait and see how much TMR they're using per day. And then maybe uh, when I get a little break here, I can just um, go on a TMR mix and rampage. I should actually make enough to get rid of those um, bales, the silage bale. Yeah, I probably should just make enough. I'll go put it in my, uh, let's see. I know I can put it in my silo. Let's go over and see if I can dump this off in my silo. That would be pretty good because then I can just take my truck and I could just fill it up. But I at least get rid of those bales on that trailer that aren't stored away. And just make enough, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I can put this in my silo over here. Green houses are good. Crops are still growing. I do have the uh, small massy hooked up to the sprayer. I should probably go out and spray a field today. At least see if I can get that one sprayed. I have a couple more to spray, and I want to make sure that I get all full fertilization in all my fields uh, before I do anything else. Oh yeah, I can put. T I got a room of TMR, a room in here. So we'll do that. I'll go back. I'll fill up another huge batch. I'll just keep fill. Yeah, I'm gonna fill it up until I get rid of those silage bales in that trailer. And then I get those trailers parked and put away somewhere, and that'll be just fine and dandy. But I should look here real quick. I know I have one more field to go spray by air, field number six. But let's see how are we looking for. Uh, I can't remember if I checked this. Growth is pretty good. Uh, soil composition. Yeah, I've got 50, 49, 44. I've got to spray them each one more time. In the grass field, I got to go spray them too. So I probably should go out and just check and see if I can get some fertilizing on them. I can go do the grass field. I know I can go do that. And grass is ready to be cut again. But here's my question about it. I I really should experiment because I thought about just going out and mowing it now and making a bunch of grass bales, but they're going to deteriorate over time because i got to feed all these cows and sheep grass. And it's a lot easier for me if I can just throw a bale in the ring instead of having to, you know, dry this thing in there. My two beef cattle sheds pastures whatever you want to call it they're kind of hard to get to i got to go in between the two buildings and i got to get into that feeder ring out there so they're a little bit harder i mean the, the, the telehandler i may be able to reach a bale i don't know i'll we'll have to see but we'll make another batch here and i'll just go store it that'd be not a bad idea well i could have rented one of those big um super popper super tmr mixers but we'll just go with this I, this is not going to take me that long i don't let's see two bales so I'll make uh, two, well, one more load, two more loads, because I'll have two bales here. Am I going to reach that one bale? No. I have to go from the side. Yeah, I got one. Let's see, maybe I can even get two bales in one. I wonder if this tractor will hold up two bales if I go from the side here. Let's just see. That might work out pretty good, I think. Or I could just get my lawnmower out, or I could, um... I don't have a loading wagon, so that's what I was thinking. I don't have a loading wagon. I know... Nicholson Farm Shop Machine and Repair. He's got a loading wagon in his shop over there. I wonder if I could borrow that, because if that was the case, I could just take my uh, ditch mower. Oh, no, that didn't work. Oh, bummer. I wonder if I can still spear that one. I like spearing bales. Come on, bale. I don't know why you fell off there. You were speared. Nope. Stop telling me these bales just have, a, like, a little glitchy spot where you try to hook onto it. No, it won't let me. Shoot. Shoot. 
Yeah, the heck with it. Stupid silage bales. Hate you anyways. But yeah, I could just pick up a bunch of grass. That might work actually too. I just have a real problem with putting grass into a silo. I mean, it's just, you know, I think I'd rather. Oh, crap, what's going on? This is, this is going badly. This is really went from going really good to going really bad. I was having a, I was kicking butt. I was doing awesome with putting those bales in that shit. I mean, that was, I was just doing an awesome job. But now this is going terrible. Okay, we'll do this one. A straw and a hay. Then it'll be good to go. I like this Massey Ferguson though, it worked pretty good. I'm a big fan of it. I got a little weight in the back there, so I don't have to worry about uh, being top heavy. TMR mixer works good. All right, put the hay bale in there, and that should be one full load. And then I'll make another one here. Come on, get in there. There. That should be a full load. Yep. 88%, 5.3 tons. So, I'll put this into the silo. I've got two more loads to make. i got three silage bales there. I'll go get one out of the shed. And that'll empty that trailer. I get those trailers kind of put away somewhere. And we'll have them in safe keeping. But there you have it. I uh, hope you're having a great week so far. Things are things are looking good here on the old Kiwi farm. I am impressed. We'll get this done. We got cattle on the farm. We're sitting forty thousand dollars in the bank. We owe two hundred. It's not bad. I'm not worried. It's a lot better than six hundred thousand dollars in debt. I don't. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. I was tempted. I tell you what, it's always tempting. But I didn't want to do that. So let me get these two more loads made. And we'll kind of make a plan and go from there, my friends. Cheers. All right, got that last load mixed up. Now it's time to clean up some stuff and get everything put away. And then I'm going to hop into the uh, sprayer tractor. And I'm going to go see if I can spray some fields with some fertilizer. We'll get this parked back up in here. Oh, man, I can't believe it. It's still 72 degrees out there. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm hoping that uh, it stays warm enough so the fields don't freeze. You know, that, that would be really bad. You know, the other thing I did, I cut down part of a fence. Because I was driving in between the sheep pen and the, uh, let's just walk through the chickens here. Only got three boxes of eggs and the stupid chicken. Whoop, I think I jumped into the fence. So, the, all the sheep are fenced in within a fence. So, I really, I really don't need that. So, I cut down part of the fence here. I'm going to make a little road going through here so I can get uh, in between the two pens. I really don't need that fence. And all the cows are in a separate fence. So, that's pretty good. Now, here we got, um, this thing is loaded up with only one load, I only had one bale. I didn't go get another bale, just make one load. I'm just gonna park this underneath the roof here and one hook that and we'll leave that for future. Whoa, crap, I'm inside the bin. We'll leave that for future, I'm inside the building now, for, for future use. Now these trailers, I'm not so sure what I'm gonna do with these trailers, where I'm gonna put these trailers. I'd like to get them somewhere out of the way, but I don't know, I, I don't wanna keep, um, I want to keep my road open here. See, I think there's a spot back here I could probably go. Let's see. Let's just go into here. Right alongside the building there. I don't need to get back there. There's a cow sitting there. But I won't need these again until... Well, until I do more bailing. There's my little trailer full of manure for the greenhouses. Hi, cow. My cows kind of hit the fence there a little bit. They like to lean over to the fence and eat the, eat my dirt. You got my dirt, you stupid cow. So I'm just going to put this trailer here. That'll be a good spot for it. Maybe I can put the other one in front of it if I don't block the door. That'll work. Get him out of the way. And then I can uh, see. I put the telehandler in the garage, in the cow garage here along with my second truck. Be, those would be a good spot for them in here. And then the animal dealership is still here. They're cleaning out their trailer. I don't know why they don't go to their animal dealer and clean out their own damn trailer. Why do they have to clean their trailer out of my property? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. So yeah, so actually if I just back this one in there and I can hook these two together, if as long as I don't block my door, I'll be good. I don't gotta get in that back corner there anymore. Any, 
I'm gonna block the door, am I? Don't block the door. Oh, look at that! Almost perfect. Okay, so that can stay there. I see now. Do I need this tractor for anything? I don't have anything else to move. No, I can go put this tractor back. We'll put this away. Then I'll get the other stuff put away. All right, I don't do the left. Just got that truck started. I'm going to put the telehandler in first. So I'll probably use the truck more than I will use the telehandler, but I'm just in love with this thing. I am absolutely in love with this telehandler. This is awesome. Start this puppy up. Yeah, I had no trouble hauling those three bills at a time. I'm telling you what, this is going to be perfect. So I'm thinking, I love the bail grab too. I absolutely love the bail grab. I'm going to put this in the shed and I'll just put it on the right corner here. It is, it is kind of a tight door, but should work all right. Got to go backwards, though. I just come over to this side here. I'm talking for my work table. I was going to use this to put all my toys in, motorcycles, snowmobiles. I suppose you don't do a whole lot of snowmobiling down in New Zealand, though, do they? Probably not. Okay, park that there. That'll work. Perfect. Got a little loft. Have you seen my loft upstairs? I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it up here, but I got a little loft up here. Yeah, if I had a little uh, conveyor belt, I could put bales up here, but uh, it's kind of a tight fit up there. I'll just make it a man cave. I'm just going to make it a man cave. Okay. So that's put away. That's put away. Animal dealer has gone. TMR mixer is there. All the gates are closed. Um, now we'll just put the truck in there. Man, I love these trucks. I absolutely love these trucks. I wonder if I have enough room to sneak in here. And it works perfect. Perfect width, perfect height. And it was perfect width, right? There we go. What's going on here? Oh! Crap! I did that. I took out the window of my telehandler. Oh, man. There we go. I think I busted the window of my telehandler. What are you doing? What? Thing wouldn't shut off. Okay, telehandler, truck in here. That's perfect. Okay. Well, I can leave these doors cold. I don't need any kind of rodents or bugs in there. We'll shut those doors. Okay, that takes care of that. Everything is cleaned up. Let's just double check to make sure. All right, the cow show at the garage. Those are my milk cows. They're good. My uh, limousine cows, they're good. My sailor cows, they're good. Chicken coop is good. My non-producing dairy sheep is pretty good. Chicken coop is good. Pigsty up at the airport, the two, they're pretty good. Look at that. I can't believe how many pigs. Those things are breeding like pigs. Anyways, so that's all done. Everything is good here. Crop-wise, let's go see if we can spray a field. Yeah, see if that'll work. I don't know how much if I have any fertilizer in there, for I have some over in the uh, in the shed. But I have the tractor hooked up to the to the sprayer over here. I can't remember if I did any spraying, if I tried to do any spraying today or not. But we'll hop into here. Oh, I don't have any liquid fertilizer in here. Well, I think I have a tote of liquid fertilizer in my shed over there. Let's go take a look. Otherwise, I might have to do the spraying tomorrow, but I'm afraid that my growth stage is just going to all of a sudden hit, and then I won't be able to do any more spraying is what I'm worried about. Is seriously what I'm seriously worried about. Okay. Put that there. I have to move my truck out of where. Do I have a tote of fertilizer I put away here? I do. Okay. I'm going to move my truck out of the way. I should have my truck... Why don't I have my truck in the other one? I'll put my other truck in the other bay. That'll make more sense. And if I need to get some something out of there, I can get something out of there. Open up these doors here. Some fancy dancy doors. Whoops. There we go. I got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll just put this one in this bay. I gotta change oil on this thing anyway, so that'd be a good chance there. Unless Nicholson Farm Shop Machine Repair is busy, I could take it over to him. But I suppose I could just back that in there and hook up the holes and we'll just siphon that out. Um, 
I don't know how much is in there. I might have to call Zeke and get some more. I don't have a liquid fertilizer fertilizer or a liquid fertilizer silo. I should probably get one of those. That would actually kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Get one put on the farm. I could store liquid fertilizer in there. I have one. You know, I got the big trailer up at the airport. Which I suppose I could just bring that down here, but I do a lot of spraying up there. I need that up there. Let's just see. Oh, yeah, it's filling up. I got the hole filled up. Got to pretend. Use your imagination hats. He actually got out and did something. So, that'll fill that up. Okay, now, let's head over. I'm going to head over to, um, let's see. I'm going to head over to, we'll go over to 50. We'll go out here, and we'll go over to 50, and we'll see if 50 is um, is good to go. I got to get a little mini map up there. And we'll try to spray that and see if it does. I'm going to try all of them. If I can, I can. If I can't, I can't. Kind of one of those things where you just kind of got to go with it, right? Just got to go with it. That yeah, was 49 on the other side of 50. Yeah. Let me go up to the north side up here. Well, here's what I didn't realize. That is field 50 right over there. This is field 21. The, the corn is way too high. I had no idea. I, I didn't remember that. So I'm going to have to do those by air and get those um, sprayed. But I thought I'll just head up to the grass fields and I will do them. I was working on the GPS here and then I realized I can't spray those corn fields. The corn's way too high. I would wreck it. So we'll get those two done by air 49, 21, and 50. Right? 50, 49, and 21 are the three fields I think I have to do. But let's head up here to the grass fields. We'll go up there, we'll check out those. I'm gonna spray those. Now, the next couple days is good drying days. They got plus signs on them. So, if I wanna make some more hay, I know it's not, probably not fully grown, but if I wanna get another cut of hay in before winter here, I would probably need to get, where in the heck am I? Oh, I'm just coming around the woods here. Another investment opportunity there to buy that and cut all the woods down. But this is that one, cornfield for sale here on the right field 19 yeah tempting but I, I don't want to go that far in debt I don't want to go that far in debt and besides we've got eight fields once they get um, going they will be um, we'll be very busy so let's just unfold this thing here so yeah so here's my grass right it's I mean I can mow it I can mow it uh, the problem is, once I fertilize this, it'll have two shots on it. I could mow it and make, and make hay because if you look, today is drying day, tomorrow is zero, and then, or no, today, and then Monday, it's up in the pluses. It doesn't say what the forecast for Tuesday is, though, but that's the winner, so that's the problem. That's kind of the crapshoot I'm going to have is, would I be better off mowing it now and taking a chance that it turns to hay? Oh, no, un unfold take a chance that it turns to hay or let it be i don't know i don't know it is kind of a crap shoot but this should oh is this not fertilizing one more time is it oh, man i'm having the worst trouble with fertilization um it's not i can't fertilize it because it's ready to harvest is that what it is oh that's dumb what a waste of time what a waste of time now i don't know what to do with it now i don't know what to do with it um well i can't do any more spraying i can't do any more spraying by this thing shoot well, i guess i have to go by air are there any more contracts that i could do uh, no i think i took them all oh there's another one so i got one active we'll accept that one so I might as well just hop on the airplane and go do those. What a waste of time. Dri hooking up with this thing, driving around the neighborhood. What a waste of time. But anyways, that's, I guess that's the way farming goes, right? Shoot, I could have swore. I, now what do I do with that grass is the problem. I don't know if I just unlease it. Should I just take off the lease on it? And I don't know. If I try to mow it, mow it and see if it turns to hay, maybe I should just, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. It doesn't really matter. If I mow it, I can just pick it up the grass. I'm going to call Sarge. I'm going to have him take up the tractor. I'm going to have him go mow those two fields. 
And then we'll just see if it turns to hay or not. If it turns to hay, I'll bale it. If it doesn't, I'm just gonna pick up the grass. Maybe I can lease a uh, thing and I'll just pick up the grass. We'll kind of go from there. But that'll be it for today, my friends. It's, I don't know, short, long, doesn't really matter. Uh, when we pick up next time, it might actually be the first day of winter. I have no idea. It, it's, I, I'm, I think I'm all caught up. I got some spraying to do with the uh, airplane. But other than that, we're just waiting for um, crops to uh, be ready to harvest. So we got cattle on the cattle on the ground. That's a good thing. We got cattle on the farm. I'm kind of excited about that. Anyways, you guys have yourself a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep them between the ditches, my friends. So long.